Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursday. Um, I'm back with another nail art tutorial for you all. Super excited about this video. Um, so um, I did a collaboration on this set right here. This set was really fun to make. Um, it was a collab with uh, It's A Wrap and um, it's a thermal dip powder here um, with a lot of cool Halloween spooky designs. So if y'all wanna see how I got this look, definitely check out um, my other video. I will leave it linked in the cards in the description. And I just love that this thermal turns like completely white. So here it looks like the Grim Reaper is coming out of the darkness. And then boom, he's here. Okay, I'm done. But anywho, um, I'm super excited about this video because um, I actually uh, was talking to my sisters and telling them about this collaboration and they were like, hey, we wanna design your nails. And I was like, oh my God, I would absolutely love that. So um, this hand I've dedicated to my sister, my two sisters and my mother. Um, I'm gonna be doing some Halloween uh, nail art. And so um, we're gonna be playing around with pumpkins, vampires, ghosts, uh, skeletons, and even spooky eyeballs. So that's what's gonna be happening on this hand. Um, I have already prepped this hand. It's been file shape buff. Um, I didn't really push back cuticles or anything like that because um, I applied two layers of peel off base coat and I'm hoping that I can just pop this set off before I do um, my next set of nails. But this is the peel off base coat I used. I'm trying this out. I hope it works. Um, never used it before. Um, things you will need for this. So I'm doing a little bit of nail art, which I'm actually very new to. But I have a couple of polishes um, from Beatles. I'm going to do my nail art with gel polish. Um, so these are the colors that I have. These colors come from a variety of different collections from Beatles, but um, I'll be using these. You'll also need some tools. Um, so these are my you nail know, art brushes that I'll be playing around with to create these looks. And then I also have some more that I just recently got, like dotting tools. So I'll bring those in as necessary. Um, you'll also need a mixing plate that's going to be really important so that you can have somewhere to put your colors, like essentially your, your color palette. Um, and then I think that's it. So let me go ahead and hop right on into this and get started. So I am going to make the white base on all of these nails first and then black on my thumbnail. Mainly because a lot of the art that I'm doing really requires um, majority of the item to be white. So I figured I'd just start off with a white base first and see what we got, got here. I am gonna go ahead and put on the screen. Oh wait, hold on. I need to go in with my base coat. I'm moving too fast, y'all. Another thing I forgot to mention is that um, I have started using sunscreen before I start my manicures so that um, it can prevent my hands from aging. Um, so that's just a quick tip before you all get started with doing anything, go ahead and put on some sunscreen lotion. That way you don't have to worry about premature aging to your hands. Um, I did apply some before I got on camera here. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a white base to all four fingers. And um, this white is really good from Beatles. Um, I used to do a, to do a pedicure before and like how it turned out. I it, the, the pedicure was a little bit streaky, but um, it lasted a really long time. So yeah, I really enjoy Beatles. Okay, so that's been cured for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go in with my second layer here. Okay, so that's the second layer. Um, it actually looks pretty opaque, so I don't think I need to do a third coat here. Um, but what I am going to do is go ahead and apply top coat so that I have a smooth surface to work with. And uh, then I'm going to paint my thumbnail separate and I'm going to just paint that black. So top coat has been applied to all of the nails here as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and paint this thumbnail black. So I'm going to just go ahead and put on two coats of this. And at first I was gonna do this off camera like I normally do my thumb off camera, but I figured it'd be good for y'all to see how opaque this black is and how we can get it deep black and how many uh, coats. And as you can see, you guys, like this stuff is like not playing any games. It came here to let y'all know it is black. Look at that, like one coat really is what all I need for this. So I really wanted to make sure I got this on camera because this is a really good black. Like if you all are not, Using Beatles dip pot, I mean, using Beatles gel polish, 
you're really missing out because it's some quality products for an affordable price. So I am going to link all the products I'm leaving in the description below because I love using Beatles. Like, it's amazing. So, anywho, um, I applied one coat of black and I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Look how opaque this is, you guys. 60 seconds, one coat. I'm shocked. Okay, so I am going to apply another coat though just because um, I'm just used to applying two coats, but honestly, you really don't need it. You could literally get away with just one coat of this polish. Like, it's absolutely amazing, and I absolutely love it. This has been cured for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go in with top coat to give me a nice smooth surface to work with. That's been cured for 60 seconds. So I have my canvas, you all, I have my base. Now it's time to get this nail art going. So first one I'm gonna do is just put a dot of all the colors that I'll be using to create my nail art. I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of top coat too. I got this hack from Marla Chris. She said this is what she uses to clean her her brushes with she'll just kind of dip it in the clear so I'm gonna try that out and see if it works for me as well these are all the brushes I'm using and all the tools I'm using so let's hop right on into this okay I think I want to start with the skeleton and I'm putting the skeleton on my ring finger let's see I hope y'all can see this okay yeah this is good right here so um, what I'm gonna do is give the skeleton kind of a shadow in a sense um, so I'm gonna go in with the black for this like so and again you guys this is my non dominant hand so bear with me but I just want to kind of give it a little bit like define its cheekbones um, like so and then bring it on down okay so that's gonna be his um, cheekbone here in the corner and that's what I'm gonna use um, for bottom of his face. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. I hope it's even, like so. And then bring it on now. Uh, I do feel like I made that too big, so I'm actually gonna take that off and try again. And that's this is the great thing about using gel polish. You can literally just spray a little bit of alcohol and then wipe it clean. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let me try that again here. So, I wanna give it some shadow, but I think I gave it too much space here. So, I'm gonna do, maybe I should start like right here. Okay, perfect, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds here, get it in place. Next thing I probably wanna work on is the nose. And the nose is kinda like an upside down heart. So I actually saw somewhere how to make an easy heart. And I think I'm gonna use my dotting tool for this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into the black here and I'm gonna put two dots in the middle. One, two, and then I'm gonna just connect them here at the top, like so. Yep, I think that worked. Yeah, so I think that's the nose here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Next, I'm gonna go in and uh, do the eyes. So I'm gonna take this black dotting tool here and just create the eyes really quick, like so. That looks good, so I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Next, I need to do the mouth. And she made the mouth where he's kind of like looking like, ooh. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create that really quick. So I'm gonna do that with the dotting tool again. So 
sweet. Okay. And that's the teeth. So let me flash cure that. Forgot to bring out red. I'm gonna add that to the palette really quick here. There we go. Next, I'm gonna work on the vampire, which is gonna be this guy right here. So I'm gonna give it like a head. <laughs> That wasn't all my sister's drawing, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Next, she gave him some red eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the real fine point and do the red eyes here. They're not even, but I think they look good enough. So I'm gonna cure this. And then next what she did was put the black eye down the middle. So I'm just gonna do that like that. Perfect. So I'm going to cure that. For the mouth, she did a straight line going across with two fangs with blood. So let's do a straight line going straight across. That's perfect. And then I'm gonna give him just a smidge of blood here for his fangs. Look at that, lovely. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so I'm gonna cure that here. That's adorable. Well, that's being cured. She did give him a nose, but I really don't feel like he needs one. I'm gonna try it with the nose, and it's just gonna be like the tiniest nose ever, but I don't think he needs it. So maybe like this. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do for the nose, because I don't really think he needs much else. So that's the nose. All right, so next is the ghost here, and I'm gonna make the ghost on this hand, and I'm gonna try to make it easy on myself. It's gonna be the ghost, and I'm just gonna give the ghost a tail end here with the black. So I'm just gonna draw small rectangles here at the bottom. Okay, so I had to take a little intermission there, a little one bulk up, but we have the vampire, we have the uh, skeleton, and then now I'm going to work on the ghost. Um, I did pull out another tool here. This is a reusable cuticle pusher, and I'm going to um, just make the bottom of the ghost um, kind of like tail, essentially few triangles I want to do. So that is the tail of the ghost here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place. So that's been cured in place. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the ghost eyes and mouth so my sister made him looking like he was shocked so i'm gonna go ahead and just give him a shocked mouth here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cure this okay the only thing i'm gonna add to this ghost is i'm gonna give him some white eyes so i'm just gonna put just a small dot like so to give him you know, a little more definition. So that's the ghost eyes. The other thing she gave him was eyebrows. So I'm gonna give him just a small little brow and a small little brow. See if I can get the second one to look like that. Alrighty, there's the eyebrows. That's cute. So we got the little ghost drawn. So my sister did want a black background for the eye, but I'm actually gonna keep it white. And here's why I want to try to add a little bit of detailing to the eye as far as like making it like the veins and things pop. So she did want the eyes to be orange and green. So I'm going to go in with the orange color here and create the actual iris. And I'm just going to draw like a big circle here. That's the eye. I'm going to flash through that. Then I'm going to go in with the smaller side of the dotting tool and make uh, the iris of it green. I'm sorry, like the dot in the middle green. Like so. Let 
yeah so that's the eye here it's the orange and green i'm gonna flash through this okay so next i'm gonna make veins in the eye um actually no first i'm gonna add the white pupil for the eye and i'm just gonna put that here on the side like so just like that okay with the red i'm gonna go in and just add some veins and that's just going to give some detail and to make it look like it's a you know scary eye okay so the eyeball is done um unfortunately i had to do part of it off camera because my camera died and then i also ran out of memory but this is what we have so far. These are looking so, so cute. So we have, you know, Miss Scary Eyeball hanging out here. We have Mr. Skeleton here. We have the vampire. And then we have this spooky ghost um, with eyebrows, which I think is so cute. Um, so this is how things are looking so far. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do the pumpkin here on the thumb. So I am gonna use my dotting tool just to create the outline of the pumpkin. I think I'm gonna just, you know, do like the regular style pumpkin, you know? flash kiss and I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more so I'm just gonna go over the pumpkin again I want to make it nice and vibrant okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place I'm gonna go ahead and draw the stem on the pumpkin here so I'm gonna take this brown on just a cuticle stick and just draw a stem like that that's perfect so cute make the stem just a little bit longer here that's perfect so now i'm going to go to cure that here next i'm going to go ahead and draw the face on here um so my sister she had uh put on here for my mom like circular eyes for the pumpkin but i think i want to do triangular um so let's see if i can do that here that's <laughs> so cute all right i'm gonna go ahead and cure that next i'm gonna draw the mouth and i think i want to use this tool here again and she just did a straight line with teeth, like two white teeth in the middle. So I'm gonna just do like a black line straight across like this. And then I'm gonna come in with two white dots and add those in. Like so. That's so cute, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> and now I'm gonna come in um, with some white dots to make the eyes and the teeth. Do one tooth here and one tooth here. How cute is that? And then I'm also gonna just add some white dots for the eyes. Boop. That is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and then top coat it and we'll be all done here, you guys. All right, you guys, the design is all complete. This is what we are working with here. <laughs> This was so much fun to do. I'm absolutely loving this Halloween design. These were all designs picked out by my family. So from my two sisters and my mother. So these two nails was picked out by my younger sister. These two nails was picked out by my older sister. And this was from my mother. So I am going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil here and go ahead and get these cuticles nice, right, and hydrated so they ain't out here struggling in the world. And yeah, y'all, let me do the reveal shot again. Like, oh my gosh. So this is actually my first time doing any type of nail art. Um, I have not practiced or did anything with nail art. I actually just looked at the pictures that uh, my sister sent me, my sisters sent me, and then I um, just went online and just like looked at a couple of photos and I really just kind of eyeballed everything you guys like I'm not really 
all that great at um, nail art, but I do um, plan on doing more nail art in the future. And I actually might consider doing some nail art with acrylic paint, um, but for now I'm liking doing it with gel polish because instantly I can just cure it in place or wipe it off if I need to. And I'll be good to go. So again, here is another reveal shot here. You guys, I really, really love this set so much. Like, it's so cute and I had so much fun, um, you know, working with my family members to create this design. Like, look at the detail though. Okay, again, my mom's nail with the pumpkin. These two are my older sisters. So we got the ghost and the vampire. And then these two are my younger sister with the skeleton and the creepy eyeball. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. This was so much fun to make. And let me know if you all want me to have my sisters or my mom design my nails again. I think this might be a cool series to start on my channel um, where I let my sisters design my nails or my mom designs my nails or my family designs my nails or something like that. You know, I'll have to think of a cool name for it. But um, I know that they are, my sisters are artists um, and they really love uh, drawing. Um, my older sister, she's made comic books and things like that. And my younger sister is kind of following suit. So they love all things art. And so um, they were really excited to create some designs for me on my nails. So I'll be excited to uh, work with them and create some more designs in the future. So yeah, definitely let me know what you all think of this video down in the comments. Um, I love to hear your thoughts. Um, on this hand, again, I did do a collaboration video. So I'll leave that link down below so you all can see how I got this beautiful design. But yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays. So if you all want to see some more nail themed videos, more nail art, nail hauls, etc. Uh, definitely come back next Thursday. Um, I would be happy to have you. And always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye! <laughs>